I am going to present a proof of this formula, which is the sum of the first n squared. Um, so the usual proof for this is uh, involves algebra, and this proof I'm going to present uh, is trying to avoid that. So we're going to use a diagram instead of, of using algebra. Uh, the first step here, which is going to be a tiny bit of algebra, is to rewrite it to avoid the fractions. We have a divided by 6, which we don't want because it's a fraction. So let's rewrite this as n times n plus 1 divided by 2 times 2n plus 1 divided by 3. Now the first factor, n times n plus 1 divided by 2, we can rewrite this as 1 plus 2 plus etc plus n. And then we have the second factor, 2n plus 1 over 3. And then let's multiply both sides by 3. So we get 3 times 1 squared plus 2 squared plus up to n squared equals 2n plus 1 times 1 plus 2 plus etc. up to n. And let's go ahead and box this formula here because that's what we, we like. It doesn't have any fractions now so we're going to be able to from then on use no algebra. So let's use um, n equals 4. Later you'll see the, the proof really applies to any n. Uh, we're using n equals 4 just for the purpose of drawing the diagram. So let's look at 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. And let's write this as a unit square, which I'm going to draw here, plus 2 squared, so it's a 2 by 2 square, plus 3 squared, let's write it as 3 by 3 squared, plus 4 squared. So let's draw 4 by 4 square. Okay, and now let's put ones in all the small squares. So I'm going to put a bunch of ones here. And it's going to become clear later why I'm doing that. Okay, and this is equal to So let's let's um, draw the last term there, which is the four by four square. And let's put those ones. So fill every little square with one. So keep in mind the square here is really this 4 squared. If you add up all the 1's, the 16 of them, that's 4 squared. What we're going to do next, we're going to take this 3 by 3 square and uh, put it on top of the upper left corner, 3 by 3 sub square here. So those 1's are going to be added up and now what we're going to get are 2's. And now that, let's do the same for the 2 by 2 square. We're going to take that and add it here in the upper left corner. So it's going to become 3's here. And finally, let's take the 1 by 1 square and add it on the upper left corner here to become a 4. Let me rewrite this so it, it'll be easier to read. So this is equal to
So let's put the 4 here in the corner and then we can move our way outward. Like this. So now let's look at what we've done. We started with the sum of the squares, 1 squared all the way to 4 squared, and now we see that this sum is equal to the sum of the numbers in that 4 by 4 square. If we look back at this formula here, we see we, we have three copies, three copies of that. So let's, do, let's make three copies of this square. And what we're going to do is going to transform that into the right hand side here. So let's start making three copies. So there's one copy here, another copy. All right. And now let's put a 4 in this corner here. So I'm going to take this square and start filling the numbers. So 4, 3, 2, 1. And let's start here in this corner. And here for the third square, let's put the 4 in this corner. So now here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, which is good. Um, Let's highlight the diagonal here because it plays a special role. And this first column is 1, 2, 3, 4. Second column here is 1, 2, 3, 3. Now it would be really nice if it was 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's take this one here and move it on top of this 3 here. So now we're going to move, take it out of here and move it here. Okay, so now we have 1, 2, 3, 4. Now let's take the 1, 2 block, same similar ID here, and let's move it on top of the 2, 2 block here. So if we add the 1, 2 block on top of the 2, 2 block, it's going to be 3, 4. So let's erase um, these, one, these numbers here. And let's um, change these. Three, four. Similarly, here, let's change these, remove these, and we'll add them on top of the one, one, ones here. One, 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 which is now going to become two, three, and four. Well, let's do the same exact procedure here. Uh, for the rows. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is good. 1, 2, 3, 3. Let's make that 1, 2, 3, 4 by taking this one 
and moving it on adding it to the 3 here to give us a 4 and let's take this 1 and the 2 here add it to these 2's to make them to make it 3, 4 and let's take this 1, 2, 3 block and let's add it on top of this 1, 1, 1 block so this now becomes 2, 3, and 4. Now we have reached an interesting position here. If we look at the columns, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, everywhere. And same for the rows, they are all 1, 2, 3, 4, and we have one diagonal, 1, 2, 3, 4. How many of these 1, 2, 3, 4 sums do we have? Well, we have n equals 4 here and then we have n equals 4 here and 1 here, 1 diagonal which is 1 sum so total how many of these 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 sums do we have? We have n plus n plus 1 which is 2n plus 1. So if we look at the sum of all the numbers here, it's 2n plus 1 times 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to n. Well, if we look better for formula, this is exactly what we needed on the right hand side. So to sum up, we've taken three copies of the sum of the squares and transformed that into the right hand side and this works for any n